not bright enough, we'll use this one. We, we really impersonate these leveled ideas of femininities and masculinities and masculine femininities and feminine masculinities. So I think that's why I really consider drag a fine art. A lot of people take it as frivolous entertainment and I, I just find it to be so breathtaking and eye-opening for uh, an audience to really open their minds to see how many possibility spaces that exist, you know, within gender and the intersections of gender and race and class and religion and ableism. All right, <laughs> this one is called uh, Anonymous Grid. I just wrote it the other day, it's probably not very good. Alone at a party with no bus fare back, I walk 60 blocks with a hole in my sock that strangles my big toe. Broken glass everywhere. Broken glass speaks for itself. Shattered bottles, shattered minds, shattered nuns, shattered gods, shattered pelvis. Porch collapse. Porch collapse, wet dream. Bermuda shorts, triangle screams. If I follow the crooked streets to the straight streets, I can end up in a square room and whack a crooked pud. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not the end of it. Let me see. I, there was a couple really profound lines in there that I thought about. My stuff just ran so I'm feeling dirty. Dirty razors. Dirty needles. Dirty diapers. Dirty jobs. Dirty dancing. Dirty rice. Dirty bomb. Dirty uniform. Dirty laundry. Dirty talk. Dirty movies. Dirty mind. Dirty thought. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. We're gonna, as may will dance. <laughs> we'll feel dirty again and watch Paris is burning. give a warm, warm, warm thanks to Chelsea and Ben for having me here at this lovely New Capital Art Gallery.